mind telling you that I'm a bit of an introvert. Yeah, sure you're thinking, you see me here on Go Green with Jean, and my work requires a lot of extroverted presence. But I like my alone time. However, sustainable living really requires community. Three things come to mind. Learning together, sharing resources, and being of service. Hey, welcome. Come on in. Oh, thanks for the flower. Like the study group that meets at my house. We just finished our third discussion course from the Northwest Earth Institute. These are fabulous. We individually read a section of the booklet each week and then meet at my home to talk about it. We grapple with the issues highlighted in the readings and explore changes we plan to make in our own lives based on what we're learning and sharing with each other. Oh yeah, and we eat. This course was on food after all. Usually it's local and organic food, but sometimes the right choice isn't obvious, as we learned from our readings. This is delicious, Harriet. It is. There's Harriet. And that's Cookie. They both live in condos up the street. They hosted our first discussion group on global warming. Janelle was in that group too. Here she is at our last grub club, as John liked to call it, leading the tangerine meditation during our final session. Each time you look at a tangerine, you can see deeply into it. You can see everything in the universe in one tangerine. You can take your time eating a tangerine and be very happy. You know, when you share learning experiences about something so essential to life as food, well, I got a deeper sense of commitment to sustainable living while getting even more connected with friends who are on the same journey. These discussion courses have helped me examine my unconscious routines, and I've learned about more sustainable choices that I can make every day. No matter where you live, you can create a study group. Oh, that's nice. Just contact the Institute. Now, what about sharing resources? Does everyone need to own and store a 30-foot ladder to use once a year to clean out the gutters? No way. The less stuff, the better. So let's share. These are my neighbors, Jim and Catherine. I store their ladder and other stuff in my garage. And in return, I get to use them. Hey, you guys. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I wanted to you know, return the hedge clippers. Thanks so much for letting me borrow yeah, it. Yeah, sure. And, um, Plus, whenever I need any kind of tool, like a snow shovel or a drill bit, Jim is on hand with it. I sure could use the wheelbarrow today. Okay. He has every tool imaginable. He could open a tool library for our neighborhood. The Northeast Portland Tool Library has about 240 members with over 600 tools they share. They're also starting a seed library for the community. The North Portland Tool Library, with over 1,500 members, loans their 500-plus tools out of the historic Kenton Firehouse, a neighborhood landmark. Now back to my own neighborhood. Jim keeps his motorcycle and lawnmower in my garage. The mower is electric, so I keep it powered up, and in return, Jim helps me take care of my lawn. Hey, Jean, we need to talk about this moss that's in your yard. Oh, good idea, Jim. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be right up. Hey, we were just talking about this. So um, I was just wondering, what are you planting this year? Um, I've got... Uh, oregano and also, uh, but I don't have any basil, but I do have uh, several kinds of sage, yeah. marjoram, and that's for the herbs. Well, I was thinking about putting a bunch of lettuce in here. Okay, well, I've got some kinds of lettuce too. Maybe we could figure out kind of a salad mix because okay. we usually end up with, you know, extra lettuce left over at different kinds of the seasons. Right. Well, so why don't you two come over for dinner tonight? Okay, and then we can figure out what we want to plant so we're not playing the same thing. Perfect, sounds great. I borrow more from them than vice versa. 
but I make a mean martini when they come over. I think it's a fair trade. Well, the last thing to talk about is being of service without expecting anything in return. I'm an absolute nut about minimizing waste. I gave a talk at my church on how I got down to one small bag a month. This is the church's kitchen. I created a trash management system in here. Here I am collecting the plastics that can't be put into curbside pickup. But they can be recycled at the Master Recycler's Plastic Roundup. So I store them at my house until the next roundup occurs. We noticed that some recyclable items were still showing up in the trash. So I needed to put a sign on the cabinet door to help remind people to keep recyclables out of the garbage can. That's my friend Karen, the assistant to the minister. Oh, that looks great. Mm, good. Here. She's a zealot about oh, living okay. simply. Did I tell you that this is the garbage from 100 people that we had here? God, that's fantastic. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hey, I got one more sign to fix outside. Okay. I'll see you out there. Okay. When you share your knowledge and skills while also following your passion for sustainability, great things happen in your community and in the world. Hey, Jean. Mm -hmm. Did you see our new garbage can? Oh, we're yeah. using the smallest one because we're recycling so much, we don't need that large one anymore. That's great, Karen. I know. Feels good, doesn't it? I'm Jean Bauman, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today. I'm an everyday gal, making my everyday choices count. And you can too. Time to plant the lettuce. Oh.